All right. So how do you calculate the perpendicular distance from a point to a plane? So I have this point over here, OP, 1 to 1, and I have the vector equation of a plane, R dot 2, 1, 2 equals to 3, where 2, 1, 2 is the normal vector of the plane. All right. So first step. I need to make the equation of the line passing through the point OP and it's perpendicular to the plane. So basically I'm asking for this line over here. It passes through OP and it's perpendicular to the plane. So to form the equation of a line, I first need a fixed point. So since this line passes through OP, this point can be the fixed point. So R equals to 1 to 1 plus lambda. Now when you do direction vector. So I know that this line is perpendicular to the plane. And I also know that the normal is all also perpendicular to the plane. So I can say that uh, the normal vector and the direction vector of the line are equal. So 2, 1 and 2 become my direction vector for this line. So that's step one. Step two is you write down this, this equation in parametric form. So r equals to 1 plus 2 lambda, 2 plus lambda, and again 1 plus 2 lambda. Right. Step three is you find out the point of intersection of the line and the plane. Uh, how do you calculate the point of intersection is explained uh, in my previous video. You can refer to that. So to find the point of intersection of the plane, I'll solve for lambda. I'll dot the two r's together. So this will be 1 plus 2 lambda, 2 plus lambda, and 1 plus 2 lambda. Again, dot it with the, dot with the normal. That's 2, 1, and 2 equals to 3. You solve for lambda, lambda will be minus 1 upon 3. You plug in the lambda back into the line equation and you'll get your fixed point. Sorry, you'll get the point of intersection of the line in the plane. Your point of intersection will be 1 upon 3, 5 upon 3, and again 1 upon 3. So this is the point of intersection of the of the line and the plane. The last step is you find PF, vector PF. So P is the point uh, from which I have to calculate the distance and F, uh, OF is your point of intersection of the plane. So OP is 1 to 1. OF is 1 upon 3, 5 upon 3, and 1 upon 3. You find vector PF. Vector PF will be OF minus uh, OP. So this will be 1 upon 3 minus 1, minus 2 upon 3, 5 upon 3 minus 2, and again minus 1 upon 2. Alright, so minus 2 upon 3, minus 1 upon 3, and minus 2 upon 3, minus 1 upon 3, and minus one, 2 upon 3. So, I have this vector PF, and all I need to do is find its magnitude, and the magnitude basically will be the distance, the perpendicular distance from the point to the plane. So, I find the magnitude, the magnitude will be 2 upon 3 whole squared plus 1 upon 3 whole squared plus 2 upon 3 whole squared. Wow, this turns out to be 1. Root of 1 is 1. So the perpendicular distance from point P to the plane is basically 1. So this was one step, one method, sorry, this was one method of doing this. Um, all four steps, you find the li line equation of the line passing to the point and the it's perpendicular to the plane, then you form uh, then you find the point of intersection of this line in the plane and then you finally form a vector PF and then you uh, find its magnitude. The other way to do this is using a straightforward formula. The formula is AX0 plus 
B Y naught plus C Z naught minus D. Whole thing in the modulus upon root of A squared plus B squared plus C squared. Now if I write down the equation of the plane, this will be r dot a b c equals to d. So a b c in this equation are basically uh, points of the normal, and d is basically a dot n. And x naught, y naught, z naught, x naught, y naught, and z naught is my. Uh, X not sorry x not y not and z not uh, as a fixed point from which I have to calculate the distance. So the plane was r dot two one two equals to three, and the fixed point was one two one. So if we plug this in, this will be two times one plus. 1 times 2 plus again 2 times 1 minus d this thing upon two squared plus one squared plus two squared so 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6, 6 minus 3, 3, 3 upon root of 9, that's 3, 3 and 3 cancel, you get 1, the exact same answer. So, it's your choice to use whichever method you want to, um, but these are the two methods to calculate the perpendicular distance from a point to the plane. One is thoroughly conceptual, the other one is a straightforward formula.